Our other top story on Local 4 News at 11, the Livingston County Sheriff's Office will now track interactions with illegal immigrants. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. The county board approved the resolution yesterday, and it's getting a lot of attention. Jacqueline Francis is live tonight with how this all came to be. Jacqueline. Kimberly, this resolution was approved after two hours of public comment, some for it, others against it. Take a listen. In a unanimous vote, the Livingston County Board voted Monday to have the Sheriff's Office track all interactions with, quote, illegal immigrants. This includes contact during traffic stops and other interactions, even if a crime is not committed. As soon as I mentioned Livingston County, that's brought up to me that, you know, we're the, we're the place where there are, 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 are racists, we're the place where where white supremacists live. Anything that we do that continues to promote that idea is wrong. I'm going to suggest that you vote against this particular resolution. The resolution the came with Thank pushback about, from some in the community. Um, former President Trump came to town and his rhetoric is a lot about scapegoating, blaming immigrants for America's problems. And then we come up with this resolution that's really parroting what he said when he was here right after his visit. It's just divisive and it's unfortunate. Others spoke in favor of the resolution. And I'm in full support of this resolution to monitor and document illegal aliens. This is important as our borders are open and we're being invaded. Sheriff Mike Murphy posting a Facebook video earlier this month pledging his support. Can you say that they're all criminals? Of course not. Can you say that they're all here, um, you know, creating traffic offenses? Of course not. But to say that, you know, it doesn't exist or we shouldn't keep track, uh, I, I think is, is insane because it does exist and we do need to keep track so we can better understand the problem. The ACLU of Michigan put out a statement condemning this resolution, saying in part, quote, Livingston County has set a dangerous precedent. In addition to being divisive and impractical, the resolution will also make the county vulnerable to costly litigation at the expense of the taxpayers. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you.